t uh, to come up and start the ceremony because it's really so wonderful to hear the fellowship going on in the room and the conversation around the tables. Uh, you know, we haven't had the chance to do this that often of late. Uh, in fact, the last time that we were able to celebrate these awards with a dinner was 2019, which is a little hard to believe. Uh, but if, and not to dredge up old history, but if you recall during the pandemic in 2020, we had a virtual uh, presentation. And then in 2021, we did have a kind of in-person event without any food or anything. Uh, and we represented the 2020 awards uh, and then also presented the 2021 awards. So I can just say that um, it's good to be able to do this the right way. The other thing I would say is I, I mentioned those things not to kind of dredge up how horrible the pandemic was, but actually to kind of point out that even in the context of all of that challenge and adversity, um, I'm appreciative that we were still able really to celebrate the excellent work that all of the faculty at this university uh, perform on a regular basis. So I'm also pleased that our faculty services committee in the last two years has implemented a kind of a spring recognition uh, process, an event, ser series of events, because I think that sort of forms a nice kind of complementary balance uh, to these awards. So tonight, uh, our goal here, the reason we're all here, is to celebrate and honor several extraordinary faculty from all across the university. The accomplishments of the recipients of the various awards tonight are nothing short of astounding. Uh, and as an institution, as a community uh, of colleagues and fellow faculty, we are truly blessed to count these individuals as our colleagues. There can be no doubt that there are many, many other faculty uh, who are equally deserving of such recognition. And the, the selection process for all of these awards is very difficult. The talent, energy, commitment, and passion that all of you bring daily to your students is inspirational. And it speaks directly to the strength of the University of Finley as a place of excellence and innovation. And it makes me profoundly grateful for the opportunity to work and lead among such talented professionals. So we'll go forward tonight with our awards, honoring the recipients and keeping in mind at the same time the wonderful work of the faculty and staff who surround and support them each and every day. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna proceed with the college awards in the order of the program. Uh, each presenter should come to the stage and as the award concludes, the next presenter will come up. One thing I regret to say is that our reach out to marketing and to a couple of students to serve as photographers uh, was challenged by the fact that there's a basketball game and some other events. So we don't have a formal photographer, um, but perhaps between Chris Denneker or anyone else who would like to get up with your iPhone, take a picture, Please feel free to do. Well, Chris and I talked a little bit beforehand. It's not like, you know, I explained other duties as assigned, but between her and I, we will, we will manage to get pictures. But truly, anyone else in the room, please feel free, you know, at the, as we present these awards, uh, to take a photo. The other thing is we are streaming this uh, live on UFTV, and it will be available on YouTube, so you can share that link to all of your friends and family, uh, or perhaps if uh, you watch your part of the ceremony and you're not pleased with it, you can send it to those who you know, are less fortunate. <laughs> so, um, but at any rate, we will then conclude, I'll come back up when the college awards are over for the university awards, and that will be the conclusion of our ceremony. So at this time, we will begin with the Faculty Excellence Award in the College of Pharmacy. Deborah Parker could not be here this evening, so she asked me to present these awards on her behalf. 
Established in 2015, the Faculty Excellence Award recognizes and honors one faculty member each year for excellence and effectiveness as a teacher, researcher, and for engagement in service activities to benefit initiatives of the college or university. Recipients must demonstrate professional and personal integrity, dedication and commitment to the profession of pharmacy, and to the University of Finley. The 2022 recipient of the College of Pharmacy Faculty Excellence Award is Dr. Sandra Earl. Dr. Earl's education includes a Bachelor of Science in Pharmaceutical Sciences from Ohio Northern University and a Doctor of Pharmacy from The Ohio State University. Her career has taken her across the country and back again, and for decades she has mentored learners not only in her formal areas of expertise, pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics, but also in the area of how to learn. Dr. Earl, or Sandy, joined the UF College of Pharmacy in 2008 and quickly became an important part of our team. Sandy serves as an Associate Dean for Assessment and Student Success and is recognized by students and her peers as a passionate supporter of students. She teaches, advises research, and serves as an informal coach and mentor for dozens of students each year. Alumni reach back to the University of Finley and specifically cite Dr. Sandra Earl as a reason they pushed through challenging times and succeeded in their goals. Sandy is a talented teacher and a caring and compassionate advisor. Her students and peers find her to be relatable and genuine. She has a way of connecting with students and making difficult materials matter to them. She even makes it fun. Sandy gives generously of her time and efforts and has built positive and lasting relationships with fellow faculty as well as her students. She is most certainly a deserving recipient of the 2022 College of Pharmacy Faculty Excellence Award. Congratulations, Sandy. I forgot to ask instructions. Is there something? Right. Am I supposed to say something? Thank you so much. This is, really means an awful lot to me, and I am only one representative of so many fabulous teachers that are here in my college and all the folks I get to work with here. I just consider it an honor and love our students, and thank you. It's very kind. The next award is the Faculty Scholarship Award in the College of Pharmacy. Each year, the college recognizes one faculty member who has grown and excelled in their research specialization area. The research is evaluated on overall research goals, type of publications and presentations, impact in knowledge, and inclusion of students. Nominated and selected by her professional peers, Dr. Susan Lewis was a clear-cut choice for this award. From the start of her career at the University of Finley, Dr. Lewis has been intentional in tying her clinical practice, teaching, and research together in a synergistic manner. She is deliberate in involving students in her work and mentoring them in developing high-quality poster presentations and manuscripts alike. She sets the example for excellence and consistency in the college and has kept a steady pace of disseminating her research year over year. In fact, she was recently recognized for her contributions by Kidney 360, the official publication of the American Society of Nephrology. In the 2021-22 academic year alone, Dr. Lewis authored or co-authored seven manuscripts, five of which have been published in national journals. She has submitted 16 posters, seven of which have been peer-reviewed and presented to date. Her trajectory continues with multiple additional manuscripts and active research projects this year. This is a one-year excerpt of Dr. Lewis's proliferative research, writing, and her publication profile. Well done, and congratulations, Dr. Lewis.
Unfortunately, uh, Susan was not able to join us this evening, so I'm going to accept her award on her set, accept the award on her behalf and see that she gets it tomorrow. Thank you. Good evening. Dr. Nathan Teist received his doctorate in chemistry from the University of Kentucky and his Bachelor of Arts in Chemistry from Anderson University. Dr. Teist became a full-time member of the faculty at the University of Finley in 2015 and attained the rank of associate professor in 2021. His commitment to mentoring and teaching students through faculty mentored research are demonstrated by an impressive scholarly portfolio of 110 peer reviewed publications, presentations, and posters. Since receiving his doctorate, Dr. Tice has mentored 22 undergraduate students and one master's students on their respective research endeavors. A further testament to his accomplishments as an educator, and scholar was receiving the 2019 Founders Academic Excellence Award for faculty. Dr. Tice is a firm believer in not only mentoring students in their academic pursuits, but also in providing guidance in psychosocial matters. His faculty chair program involves collaborating with various support areas across campus to host lecture and speaker panel events, as well as development activities centered on student success and campus climate through improved mentoring. A main focus of the mentoring efforts will be on diversity, equity, and inclusion in initiatives, and how these initiatives will impact community building within the university. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Nathan Tice. I don't know if you want me to come down there, or you want to come up here? You want me to say something? You don't have to. Oh, okay. You go ahead. Sure. So. Well, uh, <laughs> speech, speech, it'll only be 20 minutes. Uh, well, uh, thank you. It's such an honor uh, to receive this. Um, again, I'm uh, very thrilled to serve as a faculty chair representing uh, the College of Sciences. Um, but I'm really looking forward to um, working with all of you. I think one of the uh, <clears throat> the, the, the main thrusts of sort of my um, my work as faculty chair is, is building community and building rapport and um, really stitching together some of the, the various areas and the very across various colleges. I, I really look forward to working with everyone and again if you're interested in sort of working on leadership and mentoring and team team building and, and student success uh, please contact me uh, I'm, I'm always looking to learn more about that so thank you Hello, everyone. The Richard E. Wilkin Faculty Chair in the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences is named in honor of Dr. Richard E. Wilkin, former administrator of the Churches of God General Conference, a member of the University of Finley's Board of Trustees, and a longtime friend of the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences at our institution. Wilkin Chair is awarded annually to the faculty member in the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences who embodies excellence in all facets of faculty life, including scholarship, teaching, and service. For the 2022-2023 academic year, the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences is honored to have Dr. Kathy Mason, Chair of History, Law, and Gender Studies Department and Professor of History. She earned her Bachelor's of Arts in History from Miami University, Master of Arts in U.S. History from the, the Ohio State University, and a PhD in US history from Miami University as well. She began teaching full time as assistant professor of history at the University of Finley in 2003. Prior to teaching at UF, she taught at Missouri State University. As Kathy's Vita indicates, she is a prolific scholar in the field of history. She has dozens of academic publications, conference presentations, lectures, and reviews. Her last book, Women Lighthouse Keepers of Lake Michigan, Heroic Tales of Courage and Resourcefulness, was published in 2012. 
Her most recent scholarly endeavors have addressed such topical issues, including the history of the role of African American soldiers in protecting our national parks, and the history of the people behind the recovery efforts in Finley after the flood of 2007. Kathy has also demonstrated her support for the university, its goals, and students by giving of her time and help in diverse areas, such as taking on the roles of chapter advisor for Phi Alpha Theta History Honor Society, Finley Branch President of the American Association of University Women, and co-chair of the Women's Studies area of the American Popular Culture Association. She has served on numerous university committees, including but not limited to the Faculty Services Committee, Graduate Curriculum Committee, Graduate Standards Committee, Faculty Senate, and Academic Assessment Committee. In recognition of her scholarly leadership in the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, Kathy received the Richard E. Wilkin Faculty Chair in the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, then College of Liberal Arts, in 2013 and 2014. To date, Kathy is the only two-time recipient of the award. Kathy's Wilkin Chair project during this year is titled Yellowstone National Park at 150, a sesquicentennial celebration of the national park idea. As an environmental historian with a strong research background in the history of national park management, Kathy is well positioned to coordinate educational events relating to national park history. She plans to use her year as Wilkin Chair to, quote, foster a campus and community discussion of the significance of the national parks celebrate and examine their institutional history, and discuss the park's meaning in the 21st century. Please join me in congratulating Dr. Kathy Mason. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. And I want to let everyone know that we will have a event for the campus uh, before the end of the semester. It is going to be hopefully a soothing documentary about Yellowstone National Park, something that will ease us into the holidays and finals week. So stay tuned. I will be putting out a blanket notice about this. There will be refreshments as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. Evening, everyone. Tonight is my honor to talk about the Sharon Milligan Faculty Excellence Award. It recognizes a faculty member in the College of Health Professions that exhibits compassion, concern, enthusiasm, professionalism, integrity, dedication, and commitment. The distinction in one of the following areas is required, that being teaching, scholarship, service learning, diversity initiatives, and or exemplary service to the University of Findlay, the College of Health Professions, or the greater community. Sharon Milligan, who was, the award was named after, is a retired emeritus faculty member from the Health and Physical Education Program. In her honor, we are presenting the award to Mr. Lucas Gross. Mr. Gross received his Bachelor of Science with a major in nuclear medicine technology from the University of Finley and his Master of Science in Health Informatics from the University of Finley. He is currently enrolled at Nova Southeastern University working toward a doctorate degree of philosophy in health sciences with an expected graduation date of fall of 2023. Before coming to the University of Finley, he was a nuclear medicine technologist at Pennsylvania State University Hershey Medical Center in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Mr. Gross came to the University of Finley as an instructor and clinical coordinator of nuke med, nuclear medicine technology. He was taught in the nuclear medicine, <laughs> nope, he has taught in the nuclear medicine technology program, the positron emission tomography and computed tomography program, the master of science in health informatics, the medical laboratory science program, and the master of science in radiologic sciences. Mr. Gross has served UF in many roles with unbelievable dedication. He is a wonderful role model in the areas of leadership, service, and scholarship. Mr. Gross has served on many different committees and organizations throughout his academic career. 
He currently serves the University of Finley as the Radiation Safety Officer and the Director of the Medical Laboratory Science Program, in addition to all of his teaching. He has been at the University of Finley's College of Health Professions Faculty Advisor of the Year as well. He contributes to his profession by serving as a contributor and leader in a number of professional organizations. Just a small sampling of his service includes being a professional relations fellow for the Society of Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging, chair of the Nuclear Medicine Chapter, and a house delegate for the American Society of Radiologic Technologists, the Nuclear Medicine Technology Certification Board's Computed Tomography Examination Standard Setting Committee. He is a member of the Lambda Nu and Phi Kappa Phi National Honor Societies and a Joint Review Committee on Educational Programs and Nuclear Medicine Technology Site Visitor and was selected for the 30 Early Career Professionals to Watch by the Society of Nuclear Medicine and Molecular Imaging. It is my distinct pleasure to present the award to Mr. Lucas Gross. Um, thank you for this award. Thank you for um, the nomination. And it, uh, it's really a representation of the University of Finley and the culture that we uh, bestow upon our faculty here to serve the institute, to do what it takes to get our students um, the knowledge that they need or the confidence they need to be successful. And I'm just a product of that system. And I'm very happy to be a part of the community. And if you ever want to collaborate on anything, if you need an idea, I got wild ideas, so come see me. <laughs> but we got to schedule it. <laughs> thank you, everybody. I hope the dinner was, was good, and thank you, Dean States. The James D. and Judith L. Phillip Award of Excellence for the College of Education was established to recognize excellence in the areas of teaching, supervision, and support of students in the College of Education. The recipient must demonstrate concern, enthusiasm, good moral character, and a sense of charity and patriotism when working with education students in the classroom or during their field experiences. The recipient must also demonstrate compassion toward fellow employees and students, professional and personal integrity, and dedication to the profession of education at the University of Finley. The recipient of the 2022 Philip Award is Dr. Carrie Teeple. Carrie received her bachelor's degree in psychology from Miami University, a Master of Arts in Education with an emphasis in children's literature, and a Doctor of Education degree both from the University of Finley. Dr. Teeple has been at the university since 2010, first as the deputy director of the Maza Museum, and then in 2019 became an assistant professor of teaching and education in the College of Education. Carrie was nominated for this award due to her enthusiasm and energy in the College of Education and her creativity and passion in the classroom. She was commended for her work with students in the areas of environmental education and sustainability efforts. Dr. Teeple goes above and beyond for her students. She truly has a presence on campus. She co-advises our student organization, UFOSEA, and she started a STEAM team for area second and third grade students. She provides hands-on experiences for students and encourages higher order thinking skills. Students comment that she provides, quote, a really fun learning experience with creative and interactive lessons. Dr. Teeple is very flexible and energetic and clearly puts a lot of thought and effort into each lesson. I could not ask for a better teacher. And another quote from a student, Dr. Teeple is the most joyful and uplifting professor I have ever had. Despite really struggling with my mental health this semester, her class always made me smile. She teaches with contagious enthusiasm and knows how to relate to her students. She is truly an incredible professor. 
Dr. Tiepel has presented at state and national conferences and was recently published in the Journal of Adult and Adolescent Literature. She has served on many university committees, including undergraduate council, multi-year experiences, athletics, and academic advising. She received the Advisor of the Year twice for the College of Education. She has served as the president of Phi Kappa Phi National Honor Society, Chapter 310. Dr. Tiepel served on the Ohio Academy of Sciences Conference Committee to plan the annual conference hosted at the university. She volunteers to serve serve food at late night munchies, she sings the national anthem at UF events, and she serves at the Welcome Weekend Euler Experience Service Project. She recently took on our tutoring coordinator position for math and literacy work with Finley City Schools for the next two years. Dr. Tiepel has served the institution and the college well. She is a passionate and enthusiastic professor, a friend to all, and a loving mother to her two children, Mac and Tatum. Congratulations, Dr. Tiepel. So, okay, I didn't know what we were going to speak, but here, here we are. <laughs> well, Dr. Fields, you were not lying when you said that the, cat, that the um, people who are being honored tonight are amazing, and I am just honored to be among all of you here tonight. Thank you to Dr. McIntosh. But I couldn't be the best if I didn't thank my mom who's here with me tonight. <laughs> thank you. Since Dr. Patty Abels is unable to join us this evening, I will accept the awards on her behalf and try to combine the two. So bear with me. So the winner of the Gupta Faculty Chair in the College of Business for 2022 is Dr. Patty Abels. The criteria used to select the recipient is broken down as follows. The recipient must have the rank of associate professor or a professor with 10 plus years of service, selected based on success in their subject field, including teaching, scholarship, service, and student achievements. The chair will be required to present a lecture, host a convocation event, and provide a selected activity for students. For the Shiv Kumar Gupta Award for Excellence in Teaching, the criteria to select the recipient is as follows. The quality and effectiveness of teaching, contributions to the profession and the person's professional development of teaching, um, contributions to the and contributions to the university community. Feedback from Dr. Abel's students include the following. Dr. Abel's was phenomenal and she made learning easy and fun. I love to have many more classes with her. This was my favorite course of all of my MBA courses. I learned a lot and pushed myself to truly understand the material. I was really happy with this course. Accounting requires practice, and I think that this course certainly provided a strong foundation in the subject regardless of previous experience. Dr. Abel's achievements include the following. Member, she's a member of several professional associations, including National Social Science Association, Institute of Management Accountants, and American Institute of, Institute of CPAs. In just the past three years, she has produced eight publications and over 15 presentations on a variety of topic, but mostly including building highly quality online, high, highly qual, Oh, high quality online courses, sorry. Um, in addition, to Dr. Abel serves on several university committees, um, including Graduate Academic Standards Committee, Dana Scholar Selection Committee, and has chaired several committee, university and college committees. So it is my pleasure to present, or to give her tomorrow, um, the award for the Gupta Faculty Chair in the College of Business and the Shiv Kumar Gupta Award for Excellence in teaching for 2022.
Hello, my name is Sewa Jung, Director of Core Activities, department, new department chair of Visual and Performing Arts. It is my pleasure to introduce the recipient of the 2022 Elizabeth and Professor Shiv Kumar Gupta Award for Excellence in Teaching in the Area of Fine Arts. The Gupta Award honors teaching quality in the classroom as based on a relationship an excellent teacher establishes with his or her students both in the course of students, campus careers, and beyond. The 2022 recipient of the Fine Arts Award is Valerie Escobedo. Valerie holds a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in two-dimensional studies from Bowling Green State University and a Master of Fine Arts in Painting from Miami University. Valerie began her career at UF in 2007 and serves as an associate professor of art in our visual and performing arts department. As a teacher, Valerie is to be commended for uh, the strong relationship she has de developed with her students and for her ability to nurture her students' appreciation of art as a lifelong practice. Valerie currently teacher, teaches drawing, painting, printmaking, and 2D de uh, design and she enjoys teaching the art making process to both art majors and students taking her classes as part of their general education coursework. As one graduating senior noted, quote, although she was only my professor for one semester, she really uh, pushed me and showed me that I had a potential in something that had never been more than a hobby. I learned a lot of discipline in her drawing class and appreciated the, the, the honesty and confidence she had in my skills. Throughout her tenure at the University of Finney, Valerie has also maintained her own art practice. She has exhibited her paintings and drawings in regional, state, and national exhibitions. And her work has been included in three drawing and painting annuals published in Manifest Press. Valerie also served as chair of the Department of Visual and Performing Arts for nine years and was the 2022 recipient of the University of Finney Founders Award. As a dedicated teacher and talented artist, Valerie Escobedo is a valuable educator and scholar and a deserving recipient of the Elizabeth and Professor Shiv Kuma, Kuma Gupta Award for Excellence in Teaching in the area of fine arts. Please welcome Congregation, con con congregation. I'll be really quick. I thanks, and I just feel lucky I get to teach art every day because it's really fun. So thank you for letting me continue to do this. So at le this time, let's have another round of applause for the phenomenal faculty who have won the College Awards. <clears throat> And I just want to say, normally, faculty don't ever want to say anything when they come up here. So I always, I always let the winners of the university awards know they're welcome to say anything. But faculty are always welcome to say something. So please keep that in mind in the future when one of you wins one of those awards. So at this time now, we shift our focus uh, to the university level awards. And our first university level award that we're going to bestow is the Finley, University of Finley Advisor of the Year Award. Good evening. The University of Finley College Faculty Advisor of the Year Awards were created to promote and acknowledge excellence in undergraduate advising at the University of Finley. 
Last spring, undergraduate University of Finley students were encouraged to nominate their academic advisor, and there were over 40 nominations among the six colleges. The decisions were based on the following information from the student nomination statements. The advisor cultivates a rapport with advisees and is reasonably available to advisees. Knowledge in academic program, core plus in academic policies. Ability to answer questions or refer to appropriate campus resources. The advisor encourages goal setting and achievements and the advisor supports and encourages academic success. Recipients of the college awards receive a plaque and a one-year membership to the National Academic Advising Association. And with that said, we are pleased to officially present the College Faculty Advisor of the Year Awards to you. Advisors, as I read your name, we ask you to come forward to accept your award. From the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, Professor Todd Beitzel, Assistant Professor of Criminal Justice and Chair of the Department of Justice Sciences. From the College of Business, Dr. Jacqueline Schalk, Assistant Professor of Business and Assistant Dean of the College of Business. Congratulations. From the College of Education, Dr. Carrie Teeple, Assistant Professor of Teaching and Education. From the College of Health Professions, Professor Lucas Gross, Instructor of Teaching, Radiation Safety Officer, Clinical Coordinator of the Diagnostic Services Department and Director of the Medical Laboratory Sciences. <laughs> That's a lot of words. <laughs> From the College of Pharmacy, Dr. Jason Guy, Associate Professor of Pharmacy Practice. And from the College of Sciences, Dr. Brandon Forshee, Assistant Professor of Animal Science and Director of Pre-Veterinary Medicine. Thank you, all of you, for your hard work and dedication to our students. The next and final award Glenn and I are privileged to present is the University of Finley Advisor of the Year Award. Of those six amazing faculty advisors who were just called to the stage, one was selected to have this designation for the 2021-2022 academic year. The selection committee considered the initial nomination statements, faculty advisor satisfaction survey results, the CV or resume of the nominees. And with that said, Glenn and I are honored to present the University of Finley Advisor of the Year Award to Dr. Brandon Forshee. Dr. Forshee, could you please come up? <laughs> Dr. Forshee, if you could stay while I read. I'd like to share the following statements from his nominations. Dr. Forshee has always welcomed any and all students to meet with him for advising questions or talk about future options. He always has an open door policy and is willing to help anyone that comes knocking. Dr. Forshee makes it known he is always there to help. Dr. Forshee gives each advisee individual advice and guidance which helps us better follow our own path 
and not necessarily the path that may be expected. He understands that each student is different and he is honest and supportive. He loves to check in on us and see how our classes are going. Dr. Forshee is always willing to lend a helping hand. Brandon, for your dedication in advising University of Finley students, we thank you and congratulate you on this award. Thank you. It is my pleasure to present the Harriet Smith Ritz Service to the University Award. This award highlights the importance of service to the institution by faculty members. This award recognizes exemplary contributions to academic governance and other service leadership roles within a program, department, college, or the institution at large. At this time, we'll roll video. Chris is a, a standout. I'd probably call her a rock star. Um, she's one of these people that is behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, all over. She really goes just above and beyond pretty much in everything that she does. She's super creative um, and really able to kind of hone in on what's important, um, especially when you're working with groups and, and trying to find kind of that common ground. Chris and I came into the institution roughly the same time. We'd both been here roughly 20 years or so in full-time level, and uh, she far outshines me. back to when Chris was chair of the English department and I was dean and the interactions we had. Uh, even those tasks that are uncomfortable, you can always count on her to step up and do what's necessary, not always what's easy. She's on, seems like every committee um, that there is, um, always looking to contribute different ideas um, and building, building those teams. That's what I think Chris is just amazing at, is getting people to work in a cooperative fashion um, and really making the team maybe greater than the sum of its parts. Chris is just amazingly collegial, easy to talk to, um, brilliant, but you feel at ease with her. One of the things that she does so well is just build those relationships with her students, build that rapport um, in her classroom, and creates a really welcoming environment. She's able to bridge administration, faculty, and students, and inter integrate communication with all three of those groups really easily. It just seems to come naturally for her. She just puts people at ease. She constantly is looking for ways to be innovative through different partnerships through the university, um, looking for ways to build relationships with faculty and then also students um, on campus. Whether it's a Center for Teaching Excellence and the work she's done with the Teaching Partners Academy, helping build that, or now with College Credit Plus, which has really been her inspiration. Uh, she's all over campus and if you don't notice her then you're not looking very hard because she's one of those people that is in the top one percent in terms of performers of service on campus. Just very innovative um, and constantly looking for ways to improve the university and ways that she can serve to help other people. She's task driven and goal oriented and you come out of a meeting Whatever that meeting is, beyond just talking points and ideas, you have a focus and direction to go into. Congratulations, Chris, on your award. Chris, congratulations on winning the Harriet Smith Ritz Award. I can't think of anyone on campus more deserving than you. Chris, would come up, please. I'm going to make uh, Chris stand here while I, while I read the citation, though I will tell you that there isn't a citation that will fit on a page that could possibly encompass everything here. Uh, Chris has been at the university since 2003, uh, and she has a truly distinguished record of service that exemplifies the criteria for this award. She served faithfully for many years in the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, Sciences. She's made an impact on many students' lives, as noted by the several awards that she's won in the past, including the Founders Award, the Teacher Appreciation Award, which I wasn't familiar with, three times, 
Outstanding Faculty Advisor Award. She served, served as chair of the English department for several years, during which time she advanced the mission of the college through her strong leadership, attention to detail, and ability to mentor faculty. Dr. Deniker is a respected leader among the university faculty. She has served on almost every committee at some point in her career. She has contributed her expertise on assessment to the APR committee, I should say the dreaded APR committee, the general education committee, the curricular assessment committee, the non-instructional assessment committee, and the global review committee. She has also served on the Higher Learning Commission Steering Committee, the Board of Trustees Technology Advisory Committee, the Faculty Affairs Committee, the Judicial Committee, the Diversity Initiative Committee, the Library Committee, the Fiduciary Committee, and the Student Conduct and Discipline Committee. Dr. Deniker has a big heart for service and a passion for excellence that marks all of her work in these areas. In her work as director of the Center for Teaching and Program Excellence, Dr. Deniker has worked tirelessly to develop faculty at the university through supportive initiatives such as the Teaching Partners Program, Open Doors to Teaching, Monday Morning Mentor, and many other extensive regular programs for faculty through the CTE. She's been instrumental in assisting and developing the Excel at Teaching Conference, promoting and celebrating faculty innovation and ped in pedagogy. Dr. Daniker has shown remarkable leadership in support of the University of Findlay's dual enrollment program, resulting in national accreditation for the program and significant growth in enrollment. In addition, she's a respected national leader in dual enrollment at the end, the president-elect of the National Alliance for Concurrent Enrollment Partnerships, the nation's leading accrediting body for dual enrollment. She's regularly sought out by academic and governmental leaders for her insights in this area. With her gifted ability to foster collaboration, community, and cooperation, Chris Deniker has a reputation for building community on campus and beyond. As I said, there isn't space in this citation to list all of her many contributions. She is a true embodiment of a servant leader and is an extremely deserving recipient of the Harriet Smith Ritz Service Award. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's incredibly, it's incredibly humbling, first of all, because as Carrie said, there's so many people in this room and across this campus that do work every day that contributes to this university. I just was fortunate enough to have a great nominator, um, and I appreciate that and all the kind words. Um, about 12 years ago, I had the um, pleasure of accepting the Founders Award. And at that moment, it was just a week after I had lost my um, former student assistant in a car accident. And as I was working through that grief, um, the safest place for me was either with my family or in my classroom. And I still feel that way today. The safest, best place, my family, my classroom, my colleagues, and so I thank you for that. It's been a it's been a wonderful ride here. I've loved it. Um, every day I think I have the best job in the world, and I get to work with the best people in the world. And we're winning, right? We're always winning. We want to be the best at UF at, at, at whatever we do. Um, so I thank you for this, and I thank I just thank God for the opportunity to I hope do what I am supposed to do on a daily basis. And if that's what I'm doing, then I'm doing this thing right. So thanks, everybody. The David L. Allen Award recognizes faculty members for holistic teaching excellence. This prestigious award was endowed through the foresight and generosity of the late David, Dr. David Allen, Professor of Sociology and Director of the Sociology Department. Dr. Allen was a member of the university faculty for 31 years and a longtime role model. 
He demonstrated by example that teaching excellence goes beyond the classroom with student development, professional development, and campus development. It was his desire that a faculty member be recognized each year with this award. Excellent teachers impact the lives of students immediately and in all realms of their development on and off campus and well beyond their years at the University of Finley. Roll video. Sarah is the, the kind of teacher that you know students will remember in 30 years. They're, she's the kind of teacher that gives them direction if they don't have it, acts as a guide if they do have it, mixes her approach to pedagogy up continually. What makes her so good at the job is that she embodies all of the qualities of an excellent teacher, as did David Allen, who I knew and had the opportunity to work with. An excellent teacher is someone who's firm but fair, someone who has high expectations but provides high support, uh, someone from whom you can learn, not just about that content, but about teaching and then about yourself. The students recognize her, I think, both as a great teacher, obviously, who has the content knowledge, but also as a familiar face who is centered, is someone they can come to with problems, someone they can rely on to give them information, not just about her topic, or the subject of the class, but about life on campus. One of the things that stands out to me about Sarah is something that she herself said in her acceptance speech for the Founders Award several years back. As she ended that, she said, how you teach is what you teach. So for Sarah, I would add that who she is is how she teaches, because she teaches with integrity and she teaches with care. I would use the word Christian for her, not just because she's a person of faith and I know to be of deep faith, but she hears God's voice with what she does. It's truly a calling in that sense. She, she feels mission driven to do the best for these students. Our mission is to equip our students for meaningful lives and productive careers. And yes, that is probably the most important element of Sarah as a teacher. It's not just about the career, it's about the meaningful life. Learning itself is an interactive thing. It's, it's not like you can silo one skill into this area. She's the best at seeing segues between those disciplines. One of the things that she has really established for our department is the strength of our capstone. Uh, course in which our seniors and sometimes juniors do a research project and then through her work with the National Council on Undergraduate Research she has taken so many students to uh, that national conference each year to present their research. Congratulations Sarah on the David L. Allen Award for Teaching Excellence. You are truly deserving of this award and distinction. Congratulations Sarah my friend on this well-deserved recognition. I am so happy for you and to be working with you. So I'm going to read the citation as well. Sarah is an outstanding classroom instructor who stays abreast of current trends and is very popular with her students because of the difference she makes in their academic, personal, and emotional development. For example, one student noted in a comment on her recent student evaluations, my biggest thank you goes to you for always believing in me and helping me pursue my passions. I don't know where I'd be without your help. I want you to know what an amazing professor you are. I hope UF knows how lucky they are to have you. Another noted, Dr. Federka symbolizes what a teacher professor should be. She cares about her students, pushes her students, relates to her students, and most importantly, wants to see them succeed. It doesn't matter what type of student you are, she cares equally for everyone. I can't even put into words what Dr. Federka has done for me. She has helped me become a writer, which I never thought would be possible. If I can be half the teacher Dr. Federka is, then I am going to have a highly successful career. 
Dr. Federka, I want to thank you for everything you have done for me this semester. You made a writing class fun. Because of you, UF students are certainly able to live meaningful lives and have productive careers. Comments such as these are commonplace for Sarah every year. The deep personal relationship she develops with her students during her tenure at UF is strong testimony of the devotion of her vocation and her need to see them succeed in life, not just in academics. Though she has many obligations, including but not limited to acting as chair of her department, English if you didn't know, leading CTE workshops, advising students, and teaching a wide variety of courses nearly every semester, Sarah brings energy and enthusiasm to everything she does. For instance, in one course she adopted the innovative practice of using straight from the internet writing prompts. For example, write about one of your parents, what, what your, one of your parents was like before they had you in one of her English 104 sections. Sarah also actively pursues high quality professional development to improve her pedagogy continuously and help students and teachers to have access to similar opportunities. She has thoroughly researched and participated in professional development opportunities involving diversity, equity, and inclusion, resilience in the vocation of teaching, creating collaborative communities, and the first year experience among many other programs to improve the classroom experience for all students. I have long marveled at Sarah's patience, composure, dedication, and skill as a teacher. Her student evaluations are the most outstanding, literally the best in the college. Sorry, other cause folks, don't be jealous. <laughs> And students continually speak openly, not just in those comments, but in their conversations with me. They comment about how much they learn, how much Sarah instills passion in them for what they do, and simply how much you care. I have often referred to Sarah as a master teacher. She is skillful in all facets of pedagogy and deeply knowledgeable about her content. In short, she ex exemplifies all the attributes of holistic teaching and excellence that the David Allen Award is for. So congratulations, Sarah. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to be here. Um, I'm honored to teach at the University of Finley. I'm inspired by all of you every day by the way you show up for your students. You show up for your students in the classroom, in the lab, at the farms, at sporting events, at recitals. And for you to show up the way you do for your students, you must be saying no somewhere else. And I appreciate the sacrifice that that takes. So I am honored to work with you as my colleagues. I thank you for giving me the opportunity to do a job that I absolutely love every day. I learn so much from you and from my students. I'm especially thankful for my colleagues in English, because without you at that fateful interview in that hotel, I wouldn't be here. So many, many thanks for giving me the opportunity um, to be here and to grow. And I'd also especially like to thank my husband We've been doing this a long time. You have welcomed students into our home. You have cooked for them. You have driven them places. You have watched our children so that I can take our students to conferences. Thank you for all the times that you let me sit in grade <laughs> when I should you know, be paying attention to you in a way that I am not. Thank you for the sacrifices that you have made so that I can do this job. Thank you very much. The Founders Academic Excellence Award for Faculty honors all around academic excellence and Christian witness. Established by the Churches of God and the University, this award is a tribute to overall academic excellence within the context of positive Christian witness on campus. The award is granted to an individual who demonstrates academic excellence within the context of six criteria, quality of teaching, 
articles, presentations and publications, relationships with students, rapport with faculty and administration, positive role model, and Christian lifestyle. Roll tape. Elizabeth Buchanan is just the complete package when it comes to being a colleague and an instructor and a person who serves this institution. Elizabeth is a scholar that needs no motivation. She'll probably laugh when she hears this because I've said that to her many times. She is driven, she is ambitious, and she has a very clearly articulated goal. She is definitely a role model. I, I look up to her quite a bit as well. I am, I am the chair of the department, but I want to be her when I grow up. <laughs> I, I, I've said that to her in the past. She is so poised and so professional. She you know, models what a good public servant would be. She models what a good leader is. It's a vocational thing for her in the sense that this is not her first job. She had a career working for the U.S. government. Um, she's, she's done a lifetime of work already. She came into this wanting to be around students, wanting to be in a university environment where she could both do research and teach. Elizabeth is a wonderful mentor and advisor as well. Um, she hands down has the most advisees in her department and there's a reason for that because she cares. She is very willing to be a mentor and the students look up to her so much. She's a natural because here's I think a person that's ambitious but doesn't seek that kind of attention. Again, she knows what she wants. She goes out there and she's driven by her research, she's driven by educating her students, she's driven by helping others across the campus and, and doesn't need accolades. That's the kind of person you want to give an award like this to. Someone that just does the job, does it above and beyond, creates role models for faculty and students and doesn't need a pat on the back for it, just does it, it's her calling. Most of our students don't go to graduate school, so she just wants to make sure that, hey, you've got the skills and the experience that a historian needs, but you're adaptable and flexible and, um, you know, nimble when it comes to a job market. And to have this energy when this is a second career, is just, it's amazing to me, she's, she's inspiring. Elizabeth, congratulations. This uh, award is much deserved, and it is so wonderful to have you as a colleague. Congratulations, Elizabeth, on the Founders Academic Excellence Award. You are truly a deserving nominee and award winner. We'll, uh, we'll invite Elizabeth to make her way up here. I can read uh, a little bit about her for you as she comes. Dr. Buchanan has been on the faculty at the University of Finley since 2016 and is an associate professor of history. She's a master teacher and working with students is her deepest passion. She guides her students to think for themselves and skillfully leads them through complicated concepts. Across the broad range of courses that she teaches in history and law, she deliberately adapts course content to best meet the needs of each student while maintaining high standards of excellence. She incorporates research into all her courses to spark curiosity and develop critical thinkers. Dr. Buchanan's scholarly interests are equally wide ranging from local engagement with the Hancock Historical Museum to international research in late antique and Byzantine studies. Dr. Buchanan has a consistent and impressive scholarly record with numerous published articles and book chapters over the past five years. By incorporating her research into her classes, linking her passion for the subject area to specific content and courses, and models the life of a scholar and critical thinker for her students. Elizabeth's innovative approach to teaching also involves engaging students with real life examples. Activities such as moot court provide the students with real life examples and practice of current legal issues. In addition, she tutors undergraduate and graduate students in Greek and Latin to further their curiosity in history and languages. Her service to the institution and her leadership roles demonstrate her Christian lifestyle. She currently serves on the graduate 
Student Academic Standards Committee, as well as serving uh, as chair of Graduate Council and co-chair of the Academic Policy Advisory Committee. Humility and compassion, coupled with a manifest integrity and intellectual rigor, characterize her demeanor and how she conducts herself and leads those committees. She projects and models professional and respectful discourse, even with divergent views on complicated subjects. She navigates difficult issues by engaging all sides and encouraging individuals to, to compromise. She promotes dialogue and reasoned debate, leading to effective outcomes. Dr. Buchanan gives freely of her time and expertise to the community by conducting ethics training for local companies and by sharing her expertise in history with the Hancock Historical Museum. She recently engaged her museum students in a project to inventory veterans' records. This provided a valuable service to the Hancock Historical Museum, as well as an experiential training opportunity for the students. These activities clearly align with the mission of the university to provide students with meaningful lives and productive careers. Dr. Buchanan embodies a deep commitment to students, compassionate action, and humble care with her colleagues and in her service to the university, the Finley community, and to humanity as a whole. She clearly reflects the Christian mission of the University of Findlay and is most deserving of the recognition of the Founders Award for 2022. Would you join me again in congratulating Dr. Buchanan on this award? Um, I may not make this all this through, but I wanted to let you know, first of all, how grateful I am, and second of all, um, how humble I am, given the excellence of all the people in this room. It is truly incredible. Um, as has been mentioned, and it's true, um, this is my second career. Um, I spent 32 years with the federal government and retired, but I didn't want to retire, retire. Um, I don't think I retire very well. It's one of the things I don't do well. And so um, I got a degree in history because I adore history. Um, and then started looking around for jobs because I decided since I'd done it, I might as well use it for something for a while. And so um, Finley was, um, and I'm so indebted to Finley for hiring me. It lets me do my, lets me teach my two favorite subjects, history and law. And they do connect on a lot of different levels. I mean, the way we determine what's historic is by using really evidentiary techniques that are very much related to those in law. Um, they don't sound like they're gonna be completely related, but they are. But in coming here, I discovered two wonderful things. One is the students. Um, I adore the students. They are one of the nicest, sweetest groups of people you could ever deal with. And, and, and enormous great fun to work with and a challenge to try to challenge them and also to, um, to make it enjoyable, hopefully, and fun and something they see as useful in their lives. And so explaining that, of course, um, is one of the things that I ended up doing. But the other thing that I discovered here, which I never really anticipated, um, never having really done academia before other than a student, was a deep camaraderie and helpfulness of all the faculty in this in this institution. I mean, starting out with, of course, Chris Deniker and her wonderful CTE program, I learned a lot. I mean, I taught, but I had no idea um, what it really took to be able to teach at the university of at the university level well. Um, I learned an enormous amount. I love the Open Doors program, so I can go watch everybody else, and I scoop up ideas as much as possible. And people, since I've come here, have been extremely open and helpful in helping me do things. I mean, Chris, among others, you know, I came here, I wanted to do an oral history project, and you know, there was this thing called IEB. I'm looking around going, hmm, I wonder what that is. But she took me aside, she gave me papers, she showed me how to do it, made it easy. And it's been like that all the way through um, being at this institution. And I've learned an enormous amount. Hopefully I've been useful. I mean, one of my goals was to be useful. And, um, well, I'm doing this for fun, and for the love of the students, and for my deep love for all of you. So, thank you very much.
so I didn't actually craft any thoughts for closing, and I don't know that there's really many words to say after, you know, just the remarkable experience of sharing the excellence of the people who have won these awards and the people that surround them. It is truly an honor and a privilege to be able to work with such fine professionals who are so dedicated to what they do. The word that really resonates is, is calling. You know, the, all of you that do this work every day and put so much of yourself into it, you know, it, there are many reasons that you would do it, but the one I think that characterizes all of the winners and so many of the rest of you as I look around the room, as well as all of your peers, is that you're called to do this. And the, the rich and deep talent uh, among you is truly extraordinary, and it is a remarkable joy to be able to do this, to be able to sit and break bread, to have fellowship. I am so glad that we were able to be back at this, and let's hope that we never, not in 100 years, I, I hope I'm pushing up daisies before there's another thing like the pandemic. Um, because what you lose in not being able to do this, you know, you can't ever recapture. So thank you all for coming tonight. Uh, and thank you, all of the award recipients, for the exemplary work that you do continuously. And thanks to the nominators and to everyone that helps and supports them. Have a wonderful evening. Take care. And thanks to Sodexo, to IT, and to our video services. This will be on YouTube. So.